Why, hello there, well thanks. We're INDC. We're experts in water. For over 35 years, INDC has been building its expertise in over 50 countries. Each member of our team has a profound understanding of the complex processes involved in their area of expertise. This team of floating heads will definitely solve your problems. Are our solutions innovative, you may ask? Well, let me tell you. Over the last years, IMDC has reinvented itself numerous times to stay ahead and keep up with the client's needs. As such, innovation is part of our DNA. Currently, we are leading our industry with our complex modeling and CFD research, our decision support systems, and our interactive web services. Furthermore, we remain at the forefront of technological developments by being involved in international R&D projects, research clusters, and partnerships with universities around the world. So yes, we always strive for innovation in our solutions. Shall I show them to you? Okay then, follow me. The problem here is that the existing port infrastructure interrupts the littoral drift. This causes both downdrift erosion of the coast, updrift sedimentation, and sedimentation issues in the port entrance tunnels. Hard structures might mitigate the problem, but if they don't solve it, a more sustainable solution is needed to restore the littoral drift by creating an artificial bypass. We're testing this solution right now on a project for the port of Blankenburg, a coastal city in Belgium. For your challenge, we propose to innovate on this idea by making a bypass permanent and powering it with blue energy. IMDC is currently developing a new type of wave energy converter that can be integrated into the port infrastructure. This wave energy converter can provide energy while avoiding an increased environmental footprint. What if you have a system in place that warns you when bad things are going to happen to your critical infrastructure? For example, your dike is about to fail, your coastal protection is about to collapse, water quality is dropping beneath the threshold of acceptability. And what if this system allows you to identify the nature of the threat and suggest measures to avoid it? Now, I think that would be very useful, don't you? Together with its technological partners, IMDC is currently developing a web-based service that delivers all of the above. It analyzes close to real-time satellite and drone-based data, detects hazards before they occur, and translates the data sets into meaningful information and graphs. With this system, you can act fast while avoiding costly and time-consuming measuring campaigns. Convinced? We sure are. Now the question remains, will you help us to help you? After all, that's what we're here for. <laughs>